All right, we're back. Let's uh, let's go back into the gate. Let's go back to the netherworld. This time by, we're gonna try to uh, try to build a base. First thing first, I gotta secure the immediate area so that I don't get raped. All those skeleton things with the are they like zombies with swords? Those things, those things are a hell of a lot harder to kill than the normal. Zombies. All right. I don't see or hear any in the immediate vicinity. So, what are we doing right here? I also was told via the update that uh, you need to illuminate. The deeper you go, the more torches you need to put up. Otherwise, monsters will start spawning. So. That is interesting. Oh, there's something. And those things have the damnedest noise. Alright. And I also was told that those ghost things are called ghastlies, and they can go through blocks, which means we could get interrupted in a very quick way. Alright. Whoa! All right, that is one hell of a noise. I don't. I think they're out that way, and maybe above me. Man, that thing sends shivers up my freaking spine. All right, I have a steel door here and some switches, so. That is something that I might never get used to. I'm gonna immediately put up a ton of damn torches. That's a bad place, that torch. And we're gonna hopefully be safe for the next couple of minutes, anyways. What are we doing here? So, while well, I've got this right here, I might as well throw down these. And then throw down that. Don't need the ladders on me. Don't need sticks on me. I don't think I need the shovel on me. And half my blocks. And there are some noises coming from over that way. Holy crap. Alright. We're going to put the switches down here. And I never actually tested this door out. So it'll be interesting to see if I can even get this open. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully I can put a switch on the other side and it'll they'll like reverse each other. Something that I actually never tested, so there's that. So I got a base immediate vicinity set up to a oh, is that a yeah, there's one right there. There's a zombie over there with a sword. I don't know if he's gonna come over this direction or not. Right, he's staying over there, so I'm gonna leave him be for it now, but I don't want him to... I'm afraid he's... The moment I turn around and start working, he's going to come over and try to backside me. I just know it. And that is a weird noise. I don't know if that's a dungeon noise or not. So anyway, we're going to... Aw, oh, damn it. It doesn't work like that. Alright, so that door is going to have to stay open while I'm not inside. That's interesting. Probably gonna have to figure a different button system for that door, but all right, all right, he's coming over to me, so I'm just gonna let's see if we can take him the hell out. There we go. They give you cooked meat, though. I did notice that. And okay, there's more down there. I don't see any ghastlies in the immediate vicinity, but I am hearing them. I'm hearing these two down here, though. I am hearing that. And this place is freaking me the hell out. I don't know if he's jumping for me. Or Whoa! Alright, he's coming for me. Let's take this guy out as well. well I am, uh... Man, this place is scary as hell. And it is, so it works. 
The one thing I don't want to have happen is have one of those things sneak up on me. Ah, just like that. There you go. Ah, headshot. Take that. I'm going to whip up some torches here real quick. Alright, that was my own door. Now, one thing I was told about, though, is that the uh, the every time you exit the gate, a new one is created in your own world, and it will uh, so you can actually teleport. So if I were to build another one of those gates over here, I would be hundreds of meters away. So that's a way to teleport in the world, but there's no real way to determine exactly, you know, accurately how to uh, how far you're gonna go. It's like a little bit of unpredictability in that. So I'm literally... But even though I can't even do it anyways because... Whoa, all right, skip. All right, uh, I can't do that anyways because I don't have any uh, diamond pick to mine obsidian with. I'm hearing them off in this direction. I don't see any that way. None are coming up behind me. This is the direction I went when I first got killed. But I was another thing that I was told that got updated was uh, the uh, the program that allows you to uh, pick up your items after you drop them when you get killed. We've got a overhaul, and uh, apparently now it's a uh, it'll more consistently allow you to pick up your stuff. Is how I was able to get my stuff back, which I wasn't expecting that, and that was definitely a pleasant surprise. I'll be honest with that. All right, there's nothing up there. Alright, so I guess, what do we got going on here? We got noises everywhere. They're, they're like off in this direction right here or something like that. I don't know. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to seeing is... What, ah, whoa, they weren't there ten seconds ago. Alright. There you go, take that. Biatch, try to gang up on me. All right. Anyway, what was I? What was I saying? I was saying something important. I forgot my train of thought. That's great. Oh no! What else? We're gonna go in here real quickly. We're gonna drop off this. Uh, Cooked steaks, so that's actually pretty cool. We're going to... I am going to have that, just in case. I have enough, so I'm not worried about wasting them just yet. There's another one up there. Alright. So for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back... Yeah, I'm going to go back right now, and we're going to see exactly where, if another one is created in my world or not. I'm pretty certain that another new gate will appear in my world, so I'll have, like, three. But when you go through those new gates, apparently you also transfer into a different portion of the nether at the same time. So it's like, no way to tell where you, I'm stuck now. What the hell? Oh, there we go. That was interesting. I was stuck for a second. All right. Oh, well, there's my secondary gate, actually. I just came out on the other gate. All right, I guess you only get two when you exit. All right, there's an entrance gate, and then there's an exit gate. All right. I'm almost afraid to see what happens if I enter into this gate. I don't know about that. So anyway, we built the base. So now at least we don't need a... Uh, at least a safe place. And I'm getting a phone call now. Great. I have to interrupt that. Hold on a second. I'll be right back.